In a previous tutorial, we showed you how to cut out an image and how to add that image to the ProLandscape library. In this one, what we're going to do is take an existing image from the library and make modifications to it and then resave it. Okay, previously we cut out an arbor and you'll see here that I, I didn't uh, do a really good job cutting this out and so I'll need to go back in and make some modifications to it. So what we can do is we can go up to our tools menu and select our object builder. Okay, now the arbor is located in my uh, Pro Landscape Library Images Miscellaneous Outdoor Living Structures folder. Okay, so if I select that and then click open. Okay, so that opens up our arbor in the object builder. And what we need to do is to remove uh, this area here. And we're going to just clean this image up by clicking around here with the lasso tool. Just like that. Okay, also I'm going to clean up along this edge. Like so. And when I'm done, I just click on the fill inside selection and it wipes it out. Okay, now let's go ahead and clear the selection out. Now, we have another technique that we can clean up the edges here. You'll notice that there's a little bit of green along the rooftop and around the corner here. So we're going to try to get rid of some of that. If we select our magic wand tool, and we click in the transparent areas here, and fill that with the selection. Okay, I'm going to bump my tolerance up a little bit. so. Okay. Now what we can do is up on the toolbar there's a tool there that's called Grow Selection. Now when I click on that it's going to grow my selection area by a pixel or two and expand that area out. So I'll click there. Let's go ahead and click one more time. Okay. Now I'm going to fill inside selection and you'll see now it's, it's much closer uh, to that edge, and I don't show uh, quite as much green around that. Okay, let's go ahead and clear out the selection. Okay, now that I'm uh, done cleaning up this uh, image, what we can do is save it. So I'm going to go to the File menu, and we'll select Save As. We're not going to save it to the database because it's already saved there. We're just going to change the PLI file. So I'm going to select Save As. Okay, again I'm going to go into the Structures folder and select the PLI and then just click Save. And then I'm going to overwrite the existing one. Okay, so now let's go ahead and uh, close our Object Builder. Okay, now let's go ahead and bring that arbor back in. And you'll see when I expand that out that it did uh, trim that up and, and made it a much cleaner image.